Welcome back, everybody, to Rayman 2 Part 10, 100-something percent. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have a guest with us today named Katsuniku. I hate that name so much. Hey, <laughs> oh, that's fine. So do I. Just call me Kat. <laughs> that's amazing, though. I like it, though. Okay. Uh, not really. Uh, <laughs> Miwa, at one point, you said Hatsunik, Hatsu Miku. What's her fucking name? H Hatsu Miku? Hatsu Miku or is it Niku? I don't remember. No, it, it, it's, it's Miku. It's, oh, it's Hatsune definitely Miku. Miku. Oh. oh, my dumb name far predates that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever that is. I don't, I don't know. That, game, <laughs> that, that series has been going for a long time in Japan. They just never came over to the West. So actually, use for the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Miwa says that there's a song where it's basically talking about how much uh, Japan like is. Well, they, they they don't like how much the West has influenced their culture so much, right? Something like that. It's because America has no culture of their own. They have to fucking steal Japan. Well, English. Uh -oh. The England was the one who did it, Gareth, not America. So there are way more weebs in America than there are England. So <laughs> that's not what I'm talking about. Miwa responded. <laughs> You literally said weebs. <laughs> yes, the song is called Zenbon Sakura, and it talks about how in the late 1800s, America came in and fucked up our country and culture. I thought that was England that did that. America, you know when you know the first time England learned of Japan? When? In 1996, when Pokemon came out, <laughs> we've never, never heard of that country before Pokemon, so it couldn't have been us. Well, Miwa, if she's so upset, if, if Hatsune Miku is so upset about that, why does she continue to wear a, a, a tie, a button-up shirt, and a skirt? And those are all Western clothes. Because she's a traitor. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, is, why is she obsessed with leaks? I don't know. <laughs> no, I want an answer. Why did she use leaks everywhere? Link. Why did oh, she? Why said... did she ruin? Why did she ruin Live and Learn? Wait, what? Huh? I mean, you do. There was there was a cover. She has a cover of Live and Learn, and it is it might be the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. Oh. Oh, she was just hanging onto the edge of tomorrow because she's the woman of tomorrow. She's from the future. I have no opinion of Hatsune because I've never played or listened to the songs, but I'm Me sure neither. she's I'm sure she's fabulous. Are you saying you never watched the episode of Late Night with David or the Late Show with David, David Letterman in which she was a guest? <laughs> David the David the Letterman. David the Letterman. You remember him? He was really popular in the eighties because he threw pencils at people. Butthead's uh, father? <laughs> Why of course. And then uh, and then in and then in the nineties he got mad at a peacock. And then Hatsune Miku sang on his show, and then he retired, and now... Please tell me that was his last episode. <laughs> <laughs> right, after after it happened, he just went, I'm done. I've, I've just been doing tore. this for 30... I've been doing this for 30 years. I can't do this shit anymore. He just, he just <laughs> tore down the stage. It was good. Hi, David. Oh. I'm Miku. Uh oh. It reminds me of uh, Larry King's impersonation of Sonic. So good. Hello. <laughs> uh, I'm Mr. I'm Hedgehog. Hedgehog. No, he says, I'm Mr. Hedgehog. Nobody likes me. Oh. <laughs> That's upsetting. I, I remember going to a Hatsune Miku concert. You're a weeb. Was she, was she, was she as three-dimensional in person? <laughs> yeah, and the funny thing is, there were VIP tickets available. Huh. Do you, do you get to go backstage and see, and see the projector? <laughs> 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 Ooh. How much does that VIP ticket cost? Five thousand dollars. What? It's two. It's two thousand dollars. But they, if you go backstage, they will shine a version of of Mik, of uh, Miku who will suck you off. And some, <laughs> some per, I bet you some fucking nerd with like literally nothing is happening. But like, oh yeah, she's sucking my dick. <laughs> You yeah, you say that, but there are people who have probably done that already. Oh, in the past. like Stefan, you, you, you don't have to out yourself on an LP about that. It's fine. <laughs> so is it like, are you like, would, would someone be dressed up like in a full green bodysuit and then just pretending to, to to do the motions 
the height. No, in, it, no, it's literally they would just project a, a light image oh, of Miku. Okay, onto giving, a piece of glass. Onto a, giving you a beach. <laughs> then they just shove the glass on your dick up and down. <laughs> so it's, it's like it's like a funhouse mirror, but instead of looking fat, you can see an anime character uh, blowing you. Sure. Okay. Look, look. I I'm not familiar. Well, that's the real haunted mansion. <laughs> Oh god, when you're in the elevator and things stretch? Oh no, my chest! <laughs> Miwa, when did Hatsune start doing this whole projection thing? In the early 2010s. Ah, uh, that's, that's when Gorilla started doing it too. I wonder if there was like one company who figured it out, and then there were just like several artists who were like, we gotta get that. When was, when was the, uh, when was the Tupac? Hologram, because like that was like people were like, holy shit, he's Tupac's back. Well, it wasn't a hologram. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, he never died. Oh, of course. That's the joke. I made a good joke. <laughs> you don't, you don't get to decide that, David. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it says right here in this book, high quality joke. <laughs> and then and then it's just full of blank pages. Uh, buy my book, thank you. So, Kat, please describe mm. uh, the origin of Katsuniku. Oh, Lord. Well, so, obviously, my name is... My nickname is Kat. It's just some random person in middle school one day called me Katsu, and it just stuck. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then uh, the... I went to I went to a, a magnet school for it was an art art focused <laughs> magnet school and it was really small. Though there were only yeah, bitch magnets. I'm sorry, I, I, I just have this image now of you going to a school that's just a giant magnet. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, it's just it, you know it's a school where you have to go through uh, an application and an interview process. Whatever. Look, there were two. It was very, there weren't many people. There was like 700 people went to this like middle school slash high school and there were. I was one of the people named Cat in the school, and there was only one other person who went by that name. And strangely, strangely enough, her name was Sarah, but people called her Cat, and I never understood it. Cat with a K as well. I don't know. And so, some person really into anime <laughs> gave me the <laughs> added the knee at the end. So I was Cat well, too. You didn't too. have to say that. We knew. Yeah, <laughs> but then, it, but this, that's the thing. The name, my, my name has nothing to do with anything. Japanese, really. It's just By sound. some person, she means herself. <laughs> She's oh, really no. into anime. Who's your favorite Sailor Scout, and why is it Mercury? Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> oh, good answer, good answer. <laughs> the people who named me, Miwa, are also into anime. Oops. Did you just knock over your anime? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, my anime! I, I have an... <laughs> I have, I have an anime. Oh, no. It's funny because uh, anime just means cartoon, so uh, Hank of the Hill is an anime, Gareth. Oh, wow. <laughs> the best anime of all time. <laughs> yeah. So, so Cory in the House is not an anime because it's a live action, unless it no, actually Corey, is a Corey 3D in, cartoon. Cory in, in the House is just the most realistically drawn anime oh. ever. <laughs> Every frame took six years to draw. It broke new ground. <laughs> broke new ground. I didn't know that. So, so like, so when did the show begin development? If it was six years at a time, it actually got in development mm -hmm. uh, twenty-five years before the main actor was born. Wow. They were just trying to get the the, uh, <laughs> the like idea, like the technology for it, and then they thought, "Fuck it, let's while we're." Finalizing it, let's make the star of this show. Mm -hmm. We'll make him a sidekick in a in a live action sitcom, and yeah. we'll film that just to, just so we Disney has something to show the audiences. That's why they made mm. that's so Raven because okay. they were just biding their time, waiting for Corey in the house uh -huh. to be finished for mass consumption. So was Corey rotoscoped in that so Raven, or was it a, a live action person? <laughs> um, no, it's 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 actually. I'm pretty sure it's actually stick figures. <laughs> Oh, it, it's and the acting is just as wooden. It's oh, oh. it's stop motion animation. 
Oh man. But what you said kind of reminds me. I uh, earlier I saw the Dragon Ball Super movie, and at the beginning it starts with the Fox logo. So that made me remember that. Oh yeah, Fox owns the rights to the Dragon Ball movies. And then that made me also remember. Oh shit, Disney owns Dragon Ball now. Wow, I've never seen a Dragon Ball movie. Yeah, me either. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I've seen I've seen one episode of Dragon Ball where Goku's dead chasing a monkey, and even as I've, even <laughs> even as wait, did you think his dad or his dick? No, he's dead. He's dead because he, he's, oh. he's a halo around his head and he's chasing a monkey. And even at 11 years old, I still decided life's too short for me to watch this show. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, have, I haven't seen any Dragon Ball and I watched the movie and since like most of it is either original stuff or fighting. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I, why I did, you, why did you decide to watch it then if you have no idea what it is? Because everyone was like, it's so good. You should watch it. I'm Taste like, the okay. fun. You know, it's really good stabbing yourself. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. I used, I used to. Oh, <laughs> that was a good bit. <laughs> I should have tried this years ago. <laughs> yeah, I didn't stab myself totally. Oh, I. Well, speaking of stabbing oneself, I did have a, a whole bunch of Dragon Ball Z VHS tapes, but they weren't official releases. They were bootlegs with fan subs. Um, Ooh. What? Right, so was, so the, all the subtitles, uh, Goku really liked to use the word fuck a lot. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say, did the subtitles, was it people just calling each other fucking bastards every six Oh yeah, days? yeah, like that was all over the place, and apparently, because I didn't realize at the time, I know there's like some YouTube video or article or whatnot, it, it, it was, uh, apparently in the beginning, when they would do the theme song, there would be all this text, and I would just kind of gloss over it, but I, I guess what it was is that whoever was translating... Uh, the video, the fan dubber, had a beef with some other fan dubber, so he's just calling somebody else in the anime community a fucking piece of shit the entire time. <laughs> and, uh, and, um, and, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> I don't remember the names. You can look it up. You can probably type that. That's uh, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I love subtweeting the fan sub. Exactly, but this was before Twitter, so it was, uh, Fan subbing the, the sh I don't I don't know what you would call that, but it was very uh, sub sub subbing. Sub -subbing. I was, yeah, <laughs> we were all thinking it. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's pretty. I don't know if I still have those tapes anywhere or not because I bought them at a garage sale, which also for some reason had a whole bunch of Sega Master System games. <laughs> Which uh, I, I bought a couple, but not as many as I should, but that's okay because I got a whole bunch for free later from a trash house where somebody died. Uh, um, it, it's you didn't have to give us the detail that they died, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I don't think he died because the house was full of trash, but he did die because he was old. David, what? David, you also <laughs> literally could have stopped with, I also got some Master System games. <laughs> Everything <laughs> after that was just not needed. <laughs> Well, I mean, it, it was it was the uncle or great uncle of a guy that my sister was dating at the time. They don't they're not together anymore. He married somebody else. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, but I also got a free copy of uh, Michael Jordan Chaos in the Windy City for the Super Nintendo. <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, they might be in the attic. I don't know. Dragon Ball. That's crazy. <laughs> That's so crazy. That's so David. That's so crazy. Oh man, maybe like in a decade I can star in a in a spin-off of my own show. It'll just be called David because that's so David ended a decade before. <laughs> and it'll be fine. No, it, it would no it would, it would be David's home. Is that what it's called? Like I I don't pay attention. Yeah. Uh, all I remember was that Raven Simone was in a TV show starring a comedian when she was a child. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, Gareth, I just had an idea. For once in our life, we need to have an LP part that passes the Bechdel test. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fucking shit, yes! <laughs> we need to have Kat and Miwa talk to each other and not once talk about another man. Okay. Yes, so so let so even though we men are telling you what to do, <laughs> please <laughs> please go. Please go at least twenty seconds without mentioning a man. Uh hey Miwa. Hi. Oh, yeah. Hi. Do you like spicy food? I do. Um, do you like Sonic the Hedgehog? Oh, shit! <laughs> Alright, start over. Start it again, cat. We let you win this, don't fuck it up! <laughs> yeah. 
M Miwa, uh, what, what are your favorite desserts? I like coconut shaved ice. What about you? Oh. Uh. I don't really. <laughs> Tiramisu. I like that. That's a good one. We fucking did it, everyone! We pre fucking. We fucking did it! We're officially get fucked, brain scratch comments. We passed the brain test. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Okay, now both of you can leave. Go. Uh, <laughs> oh. Well, you, you know, technically the Star Wars prequels pass the Bechtel test, but the original trilogy doesn't. Okay. When it, I'm trying. Who, who's the other woman? Um. Well, like when when Padme's like, "Hello, my my lady guard. Uh, we need to make sure security is good." That counts. <laughs> it's amazing how easy it is to pass this test, and it, and, and it fails so often. <laughs> just, you mean, just you can have to just have two women just say, Hey, I like this book. Me too. Scene done. But they fucking... <laughs> oh, man. No, it, it, it's, it's just like the Miles Morales scene. Ooh. <laughs> hey. Henry, no. <laughs> Don't do it, Henry. Stop. <laughs> It's fine, Henry. Don't don't worry about it. Okay. That. Oh, did he look up the the, the orange juice she drew? Oh no! Oh, no. no. He's... I just don't want him to attack the mic. It's fine. You can edit this part out. <laughs> Dale, I don't watch Walking Dead. <laughs> it's true. I don't. Oh man. Here's what episode is that where he yells that? That's like part four or five of Sonic Mania, which is, I, I was I was editing it, but he, she was saying that as you we were talking about something you know to do with the game. I thought I'm gonna take this clip and put it at the All end. Right. What? No, Dale, I don't watch Walking Dead. All <laughs> right, because I, I muted Discord, but I didn't mute my mic when I was shouting at him. Uh, right. I did. I did the same thing. To Steven when Steven is trying to like he got dropped from the call when he's trying to get back in the audacity kept him speaking. Uh -huh. So I just I just put an echo filter on Steve. He's like, Where are guys, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh no one can hear me. <laughs> Steven uh -huh. has ascended into the astral plane during the Sonic Main Hero Ooh. Oh, Thank God. <laughs> oh man, I, I I have watched a video or, or two of FTCR, but but you know who else has been watching videos of FTCR? My mom! No, my mother would never. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say my mother's a saint, but uh, either way, my mother would never. <laughs> so who is it? Oh, you've, no. you've already told us who it isn't. Oh, it, uh, it was it was, oh. it was Kat. She, when we were driving cross cross country, she, we were like, oh, we should put something on, and she put on episodes of 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 this fine program. It is it's true. Yeah. What, what were the highlights? What were the highlights? Oh. When it stopped. Oh, you. Yeah. Uh, oh, <laughs> no. Oh, she had never listened to the very first thing I was on, so we, we re-listened to the first Chaotix bit where we talked about Vector and his quest for God. <laughs> that, was, that, was still one of, that was still one of my favorite LPs to record, man. That was fucking genius. <laughs> That's right, we started watching that because we were... We, we're talking about. Oh right, because we were talking about chaotics, uh, chaotics and, and translations, and uh, it, it's fine. Don't worry about. <laughs> we were being terrible, terrible Sonic nerds in a car. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Even in in, in uh, David's relationship, he can't <laughs> he can't break away from this. It's just like, <laughs> how do you think we met? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> yes. She walked into the room. I was buried under a bunch of s copies of Sonic 06. She walked over, said, are you okay? And I went, Sonic CD takes place between one and two. <laughs> <laughs> and that was all I needed to hear. <laughs> For her to walk away, and I went, well, no, I went. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> It was like, I've got something to tell you about the Super Emeralds. <laughs> I wish, David, I want to I wanna put that on your tombstone. Just like, here lies David. Look, Sonic CD takes me to the Sonic 1 and Sonic 2. Oh. Well, it does. <laughs> Alright, thanks for joining us, everyone. Oh, uh, Rayman, I like that game. I do enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Rayman 2 takes place between Rayman 1 and Rayman 3. Yeah, I love Rayman 3 and Glowbox. 
<laughs> I'm gonna edit that joke out. Aw, oh, heck. Bye. Are we ending the scene? <laughs>